Today we are publishing our growth plan that sets out a new approach for this new era built around three central priorities. Prime Minister, are we borrowing our way out of trouble? Prime Minister, is your plan a gamble? High tax rates damage Britain's competitiveness. They reduce the incentive to work, to invest and to start a business. And the higher the tax, the more ways people seek to avoid them. I'm just looking at the pounds and it is it's ticking every second and it's it's ticking lower. Actually, maybe we can show you a chart on the screen because it is quite dramatic. It's not a gamble at all. It's not a gamble. So the, what is a gamble is thinking that you can keep raising taxes and getting prosperity, which was clearly not working. Emergency move uh, from the Bank of England has made, uh, well, they did a dramatic intervention today to try to calm the markets following the turmoil after last week's mini budget by the new government. It's launching a temporary UK government bond buying programme to try to get long term borrowing costs down. Well, it came after a rare rebuke from the International Monetary Fund, one of the world's most important financial institutions, which warned that the government's plans for tax cuts are risky and they could accelerate inflation and increase inequality. We need to have a growth package which gets our economy moving. I'm not going to apologise for making an intervention in the energy markets that are protecting every single house in this country, household in this country, from energy bills that could have been crippling. I'm not going to apologise for that, nor are we going to apologise for having a growth plan designed to get our economy moving, increasing wages, creating new jobs. We're sticking to the growth plan and we're going to help people with energy bills. So. This story is far from over. Um, I mean, I, I, the one thing I'll give to give Trust and Quateng their due, they're very brave. Now, that volatility has left lenders scrambling to reprice their mortgage deals. On Friday morning, as the Chancellor stood up and delivered his mini-budget, there were over 3,900 residential mortgage deals on the market. Now, since then, more than 1,600 have been taken off. We've just heard from the Bank of England just now, uh, Jane, with the, a rather extraordinary statement saying that they are planning a guilt market operation, uh, which is an intervention from uh, the Bank of England, uh, they say, to try to restore orderly market conditions. Is it too late? Did you give the PM a telling off? I do want to say to people, that I understand their worries about what has happened this week, and I do, I do stand by the package we announced, and I stand by the by the fact that we announced it quickly because we had to act. But I do accept we should have laid the ground better. But there are, I there, do there, accept that. You accept you and should I, have laid I, the ground I better. And I have learnt from that. I have learnt from that. And I will make sure that in future we do a better job of laying the ground.